many people have asked me, how are our prayers this year supposed to be different than the prayers last year? And how are we supposed to gather ourselves together and pray with the same text and the same words in the same way in the same fashion after everything that's happened to us? And the answer is, we're not. I noticed through my own personal life that every time that I was successful, I was able to add things externally. And every time I was not successful, I was able to gain internally. It might not be as comfortable, but you grow more when it's difficult than when it's not. Everybody, the entire Jewish people and every individual, we're not in the same place that we were one year ago in Rosh Hashanah. And as a result, we're not supposed to pray from the same place. We all grew internally. And we're supposed to pray from that new place it's much deeper. We are able to feel pain in a much greater way. We're able to interface with God as a result in a much more intimate fashion. All of this has to propel us to a heightened level of devotion in our prayers this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I want to wish everybody Lishana Tova, Tikatevu, Vitechatemu. We should all be inscribed in the Book of Life. Tichle Shana Vekilaloteha, Tachel Shana Ubirchoteha. The year that we have experienced should be behind us, and a new year with new hope should arrive, and we should all be part of the unfolding blessing that it will bring us. 